1998, Jed Christie lost his leg when pipes collapsed on him at a building site. After 17 years struggling with a prosthetic limb, which often rubbed his skin sore, Christie travelled from the UK to Australia for pioneering surgery to give him one of the world's first integrated mechanical legs. Even just putting the leg on traditionally would take 10-15 minutes to put it on properly, whereas this will just be a case of clip it on, off you go. Part of Christie's new robotic leg has been surgically implanted into his body. It works with residual muscle and nerves to give him feeling. If I tap as simple as this, yeah, can feel Jet can feel it. So they regain the ability to feel the ground. The surgery involves drilling into the bone above where a limb has been removed and inserting a titanium rod in the cavity. Surgeon Munjad Amaduris grew up in war-torn Iraq and saw how people struggled with artificial limbs. But it was Hollywood that inspired him. In 1984, I watched the, the Terminator, the movie, and, um, and I was fascinated about um, uh, how a human uh, being uh, can be part machine, part human. And uh, I always had that dream, and now this dream is becoming true. When, under Saddam Hussein, surgeons were ordered to remove soldiers' ears as punishment for desertion, Hamaduris fled by boat to Australia. He's now a world-leading osseo-integration surgeon. Last June, Paula Gowland fell off her bed while putting up curtains. She broke her leg so badly that, after complications, it had to be removed. Watched by a British Army surgeon keen to learn techniques to treat injured soldiers, Almaduras is giving Gowland the implant for her to clip on a new leg. This sort of surgery is still very new. There are fewer than 10 surgeons in the world who've ever carried it out, and fewer than 400 patients that have received the implants that allow them to attach robotic limbs. Six weeks after surgery, Gowland is getting used to her new leg. With crutches, for now, she's walking again. I haven't used a wheelchair since I came out of hospital. After I've had my shower, it just becomes I put my leg on and that's part of, part of getting dressed. Most of Gowland's surgery was covered by her health insurance. Depending on its complexity, surgery and limbs can cost between one and $500,000. But prices will fall as robo limbs become more common. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Sydney.